It's an overwhelming sense of loss that didn't have to happen. Cheryl Wilson knows firsthand the physical and emotional pain of bullying. Her nephew, 11-year-old Mitchell Wilson, was victimized so much, he ultimately took his own life last year, just before the first day of school. Too much for one little boy to bear, unfortunately. But it's a sad reality for kids all across the country. In elementary school, I used to get picked on a lot. I've seen people get picked on and laughed at. Go to any school and many kids admit they've been bullied at one time in their lives. But new stats show bullying isn't only a concern for kids, it's also a concern for parents. According to an Ipsos Read survey conducted for Global News, 88% of Canadians are concerned about kids being physically bullied in school, while 83% of Canadians are worried about kids being bullied online. It used to be before uh, that you could control things in, in the schoolyard. Now the schoolyard extends to the internet and it's almost boundless. Bullying can happen anywhere from the playground to online. That's why there's a push for more resources in school to not only identify bullying, but also prevent it. Some of those prevention pieces are devoted towards teaching staff to be more aware, but also take advantage of uh, teachable moments. The Canadian Teachers Federation says bullying should be a cross-country concern. This is a very serious issue and I think that it's important that we uh, look at ways where all the stakeholders can contribute to a national dialogue. Experts say there's steps in the right direction but when it comes to ending bullying more needs to be done. According to the World Health Organization, um, Canada still has is not doing as well as other countries in terms of addressing it. Still many kids are taking the anti-bullying message to heart. I used to be a bully myself, but uh, with help from my family and friends, um, I slowly uh, realized that I, what I was doing was wrong. Colleen Wilson hopes that message will continue to spread in memory of victims like Mitchell. As long as we continue to honour him and honour his feelings through the anti-bullying campaign and education, I think that you know he'll never be forgotten. Now, high-profile cases like the tragic story of Mitchell Wilson has helped increase awareness about bullying, which is one reason why experts think the number of concerned Canadians is so high, particularly in this poll. Okay, so tell us, how wide of a problem is it? It's actually more common than we think, particularly in students grades 4 to 6. One in four kids are bullied and one in five are the bully. So it's pretty shocking statistics that it happens so often in the schools. And you know, what's very interesting is that when you speak to people who are long past that vulnerable tween age in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and beyond, they remember, they remember wow. how, how deeply penetrating that hurt was and it never leaves them. No, it really doesn't and that's why you have to nip it in the bud now because you carry with that, you, that with you for the rest of your life. You really do. All right. Thank you, Marianne.